Hey, it's David. Uh, I graduated in 2009. Uh, we were playing Muskegon Heights on this field, the same team they're playing today. Uh, we were down by 18 at halftime, and we overcame some adversity, came back and beat them in the second half. Fondest memory here at uh, John Glenn was my freshman year. John Luke pulled me out of phys ed and uh, gave me the good news he was going to bring me up to the varsity squad for the, for the playoffs that year. Go Bobcats. Uh, my initiation to John Glenn football was uh, Rick Andrus uh, taking a free shot at me uh, the first time he carried the ball. So in practice and once we uh, butted heads and uh, walked away from each other pretty good. Uh, he came up at the end of practice and told me, he says, Greg, he says, uh, welcome to the team. This is Tyler, graduated in 2009. Um, our senior year, we won district championship and I uh, got to play East Grand Rapids. And kind of made a big run in the playoffs, it was pretty cool. One of my finest memories uh, playing football at John Glenn is probably uh, being 10-0, uh, and 0, uh, going to the playoffs and facing uh, Muskegon Big Red. Uh, we ended up playing a good game, but lost. Uh, but one of my biggest memories is probably uh, the whole team going out to eat, and I had um, my away jersey, my white jersey, and I had everybody sign it from the uh, 87 uh, class, which was a uh, pretty good football team, and uh, just a it was just a great uh, memory that uh, comes back to me all the time. My name is Glenn Rowley. I don't know when the tradition started, but one of the greatest feelings from playing here after a win is to come and ring this bell. That is such a wonderful feeling. The other thing you remember is the coaching staff and the the difference that made, they made in your life and the impression that they left on you. You even get to remember some sayings that will always be in your mind. And I remember Coach Fowler saying that there is no greater feeling than moving a man on the field against his will. Silly things like that 30-some years later are still important. Coach, thank you.